Hi everybody, my name is Amina Abdul-Jalil and I am the designer of Amina Abdul-Jalil. It's a shoe brand. I've been doing this for about seven years. I'm born and raised in Anchorage, Alaska. I'm a dancer first, so my background is dance. I uh, toured with Britney Spears, Janet Jackson, um, others. But now I just um, design shoes. You just kind of have to do it and your passion will drive you and take you as far as you want to go. And sometimes you don't know, you don't know what is the first step, you don't know what the second step is, but if you have the passion and the drive, it will, it will take you. Um, you have to be willing to put yourself out there. You have to be willing to fail because you're gonna fail a lot. There's gonna be a lot of tears. <laughs> um, so anybody who wants to start something, who's thinking about starting something, who has a passion or you're transitioning into a, a new career or a new hobby, I would say just, just go for it 100%. I just wanted another outlet to be creative um, because I spent so much time dancing and rehearsing and that sort of thing. And I feel like uh, people try to put you in a box and that kind of allowed me to just do whatever I wanted, exaggerated huge bows, um, like so what if it's obnoxious, uh, it looks cool to me, you know? And I would wear, uh, make things for my sister, uh, she, would, <laughs> she would get compliments too. And so that gave me the confidence to kind of start something for real and so that's what I did. At the time I was working on a show uh, at the Luxor for Cirque du Soleil, um, I would bring the samples in and like the wardrobe, ask the wardrobe what they thought, you know, because their background is in creating pieces and that kind of thing. Um, everyone would offer their advice, their opinion, they would lead me to the next, uh, to the next person, the next one that would then in turn get me to the next level. No one's going to work as hard as you, so it has to it has to start a little bit selfish. And little by little, uh, people started to like my designs. Uh, everyone told me that you have to have a celebrity wearing your shoes in order for it to matter, or you have to be in a big retailer in order for it to mean anything. And um, I do a lot, a lot myself, a lot hands-on, a lot answering the phone, a lot quality checking shoes, a lot talking to my factory. I, I, I do a lot on my own. I, I wouldn't say glamour, it's, it's work, um, but it's very, very rewarding because you're getting to see your, your passion, you're getting to see your visions, you're just, and, and that, is, that is so fulfilling. And at the end of the day, when it's just you, um, you, can, you, know, you can be happy about that uh, because ultimately you, you should be doing it for yourself and to please you first and then everybody else comes next. I would have to say for me, um, it's my family, my mother, um, because I was given a good foundation and you need that uh, when you're out in the world, when you're starting things, uh, when you're not sure about it. Um, if you have a good support system, that keeps you strong. You can do whatever you because you're gonna get knocked down so many times. And during the times when I think and feel that I'm not as strong, my family is there through everything, you know? So if you don't have a family or you don't have someone that you can call and say, oh my God, my order came in and it's a disaster, or oh, I wanna do this style, what do you think about it? Like it's a group effort for me. It's not just one person, it's a group effort. Like when I wanna do something, I send pictures to my family or if we're shooting a new product, I'm not sure it's gonna captivate the way that I want it to, it goes to our family chat. And I'm like, which one do you think? This one, <laughs> you know? And it's, it, it's, so I would say a support system, my family, my mother is my